Okay, welcome back. Um, I've been doing a lot of uh, short barrel ammo testing lately. Um, so I thought I'd switch it up a little bit and do some full size 45 auto testing. This is the five inch Kimber. Uh, and I'm gonna start off with some of these non-expanding defensive rounds. I'm gonna start with the Inceptor Arcs in 45. I really like them in the short uh, barreled 380s. So I thought I'd test them um, here in the full size 45. And then I'll also test them against, um, I have both the 230 grain Remington uh, Gold and Sabre rounds, the 230 grain um, Federal uh, HST rounds, and then the 230 grain uh, Winchester Ranger T. So the question is, can these lightweight, um, fluted type defensive rounds that don't expand but cause a lot of damage um, compete against the full weight, fully uh, expanding um, hollow points from these major manufacturers? That's going to be the questions here. And this is going to be a, a series of tests here. I'm not going to put them all into one video, so it'll be a couple of videos in a row here. But we're going to start off with the Inceptor Arcs. Okay, Inceptor Arcs went in right here, and you can see the wound channel down in there, pretty good, and there it sits in the second block from the uh, front here, now you can see it entered and did okay damage, I'm not going to say that's tremendous, but again, clear ballistics, it's never amazing. So, pretty good. Again, top down here, there's your wound track for the arcs, and that made it into the block here. Leading edge on that is 14 inches in the block, and again, no expansion because these don't uh, expand. Twelve ninety seven. Twelve seventy eight. Twelve eighty seven. Okay, the Golden Sabres hit right here, a little bit higher and to the right. Um, you can look at the wound track down there. And actually the initial wound track from the Golden Sabres does not look as impressive top down as the arcs did. But the wound track continues on a little bit further with damage. And the round itself got further into the block, quite a bit further into the block. But actually, uh, it looks like it got even further and bounced back some. So, from the side here, again, this is the top track is the Golden Saber track. And I left the arcs in there so you can see the depth penetration. So, as far as the uh, overall depth in the blocks. The Golden Sabres looks like they got to about 17 inches before bouncing back and the leading edge is about 16 and a quarter and again the arcs are at about 14 inches in there. Nine twenty four. Nine oh one. 925. Okay, back uh, from the range with that test. I uh, hope you found it interesting. Uh, again, we had the lightweight but speedier Inceptor Arcs versus the fully heavyweight uh, Remington Golden Sabres <coughs> in the 45 caliber through the 5 inch Kimber. Uh, both did uh, very well. I thought the uh, damage tracks were very impressive from each. Um, we saw two, I think, distinct uh, differences, however. We saw, number one, with the the arcs, we saw that the damage was immediate. Um, there was, you know, an immediate damage track, 
And then uh, as we got to the second block, um, as the round, as the velocity slowed, you saw the, the damage streamlined. Uh, with the Golden Sabre, you saw that little bit of entrance wound where it was just the, the original diameter of the round before it, it mushroomed out into the uh, expanded hollow point pedals. Um, we also saw, uh, it, as the round was dug out, I saw that we did not get full expansion here. We had one of the pedals not expand at all. Um, and then one of the pedals expanded out kind of like this big wing sticking out the side, which, which I guess would have caused quite a bit of damage. But, uh, you saw the two different variables that you run into with these hollow points is it one, it can expand uh, in a way that you don't quite expect and cause more damage, but you can also have a, where it doesn't expand at all. And then part of it might perform like a, a full metal jacket. So that is kind of the downfall of the uh, hollow point rounds, as well as the time that it takes to fully expand out. There's, there's that, that gap there in time. Also, with a heavier round, we tend to get a little bit deeper penetration, which we did see here as well with these. Uh, and part of that might be because it wasn't fully expanded. Part of that might just be because it was a heavier round. Uh, but the arcs, uh, again, it looks like a brand new round, basically. You could probably reload this if you wanted to. It's so so minimal um, damage is done to these rounds. Uh, but they performed quite well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and weigh them up, and uh, then at the same point, we will throw up on the, the images there, we'll throw up the max expansion. We'll talk about that too here. Um, obviously, with the arcs, there's no expansion at all. It's the, just a 0.45 inches. Uh, but with the golden sabers here, again, 230 grains is what we started with, 229.4 retained, uh, which is quite good. As far as the expansion goes... Uh, expanded to 0.56 inches where there was no, where the one pedal didn't expand. Uh, 0 0.70 inches is where both pedals expanded normally, and 0 0.90 where that big giant uh, wing is off there. Uh, as far as the average velocity, uh, we had a three shot average from the Golden Saber of 917 feet per second, which equates to 429 foot pounds of energy, which is pretty good for a 45 defensive round. We'll go ahead and we'll throw the arcs up there. Again, these started at 118 grains is what we're looking for. And 117.2. So that just might have been what it weighed from factory. Or it might have lost a little bit of weight in there. Um, I can't can't say for sure. Uh, but as far as the average velocity, three-shot average on this was 1,287 feet per second. Which equates to 434 foot-pounds of energy. Which is about 5 foot-pounds of energy more than the Golden Saber average. So they're almost identical in um, energy as far as the damage tracks they were very comparable in the clear ballistics again clear ballistics isn't the best um, doesn't show the best uh, damage paths uh, it is kind of a, a strange material that, that doesn't really show that as well as like ballistics gel does but I don't have any of that mixed up right now again both of these were tested through uh, the heavy clothing barrier of one layer of denim, one layer of fleece, and two layers of cotton t-shirt material. So it did have that uh, resistance to go through that will impact expansion for hollow points, uh, for the for the hollow points, but does not cause really any, um, I mean, these non-expanding defensive rounds are barrier blind. The arcs are basically barrier blind. So whether it's through heavy clothing or into clear gel, you're really not going to see a difference. So there's another catch there between or difference there between the hollow points and the um, non-expanding defensive rounds um only other comment i want to make is again on the boxes i do like um how some of these rounds now the arcs are one of them where they do put their factory uh, velocities on there um but uh, they don't list the barrel length for the inceptor arcs here don't list the barrel length of the test barrel where they got those velocities so it's kind of a a random number to most of us because without without that piece of information it's really kind of useless the golden sabers again this is a bulk box but again the golden sabers uh, don't have any information on the box whatsoever so this is just the first test i did uh have a couple of more that i'll be putting up here shortly that test on the same day in the same block so you can compare the side by side tracks so stay tuned for that and uh if there's any comments please leave them below thanks